<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, Nerd for the Word, a.k.a. Brother Lou Jr., formerly known as the Wretched Knucklehead, my brothers and sisters. If we turn our Bibles to John chapter 13, we'll be looking at verses 3 to 10. And it reads, Jesus knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand and that he was come from God and went to God, he riseth from supper and laid aside his garments and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. Then cometh he to Simon Peter, and Peter saith unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Peter saith unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus saith to him, He that is washed needeth not save to wash his feet, but is clean ever with. And ye are clean, but not all. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Of our brother's God's word. We give God all the honor, <laughs> all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord Brothers and sisters We see in John chapter 13 The apostle John Mentions how our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ He he, 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 he knew That it was time was to come To go to the cross He knew that, that all things was given to him Because He knows that he's loved of the Father And that he loves the disciples who he's having this tender moment with because he knows that he's come from God. He's going to go to God. And so, well, this tender moment with his disciples, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gets up from the table and drops his garments and, and then he puts on and grabs a towel and a bowl and pours some water into it. And he starts washing the feet of his disciples and he starts the, with the, 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 the first 11 and then he gets up to Peter and if we pick that up in verse chapter the verse 6 of John chapter 13 then cometh he to Simon Peter and Peter saith unto him Lord thus thou wash my feet after he saw that he washed all the feet of the of the eleven disciples, and Peter's like, "You going? You going to wash my feet?" Verse seven of John chapter thirteen. Jesus answered and said unto Peter, "What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know it hereafter." You you're not going to understand what I'm doing now, but in due time, it's going to make all sense. That's what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is basically saying to Peter. Verse 8 of John chapter 13. Peter saith unto our Lord and Savior, soon come King Jesus Christ, thou shalt never wash my feet. No, no, no. You're going to kind of like being prideful. No, no, no. No, no. no. You don't have to do that, Lord. Jesus answered Peter. If I wash thee not, thou shalt have no part with me. And this washed what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when he mentions to Peter is, uh, is, is washing of sanctif sanctification. If we turn to Ephesians chapter 5, <laughs> praise the Lord. We see in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26, the Apostle Peter writes that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing 
of the water by the word. So when all the Savior Jesus Christ says to Peter, if I wash thee not, if I sanctify thee not, and cleanse it by the washing of the water by the word, that thou shalt have no part with me. Because it's the, that, that sanctification, that cleansing by the washing the water of the word that verse 27 of Ephesians chapter 5, that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ might present to himself a glorious church, a, 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 a flesh and blood believer of our Lord and Savior to come Jesus Christ, a glorious church, not having spot or winkle or any such thing that it should be holy and without blemish. And so the, 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 the sanctification, the cleansing, by the washing the water of the word, of the gospel of grace. This is what Jesus was talking about when he said, if I wash thee not, sanctify thee not, then I'm not gonna have no part with you, Peter. Then we see Peter go on and say, verse nine, Simon Peter saith unto him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands, my head, my shoulder, my elbow, my knees, my ears, from the top of the head to the sole of my feet. Wash. And then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ then responds to Peter. In verse 10, Jesus saith to Peter, He that is washed past tense. And this watch that he's talking about is saved, eternally saved, everlastingly slave, uh, endlessly slave, forever saved, that washed, forever washed, eternally washed, everlastingly washed, endlessly washed, needeth not save they don't need to be resaved or rewashed. Save to wash his feet, to sanctify and cleanse his feet. And, and, and so we, we see when it comes to a believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who's washed, past tense, there, when, when they walk, the, the, the spiritual walk, they they might pick up may may pick up contaminants li like dust like 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 darkness like unbelief like 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 sin consciousness like traditions of of, of the, the fallen world it'll pick up but it's the the, the it was on, on on Jesus you know uh, washes the feet as it were when you read the, the God's word. When you study God's word, when you memorize God's word, when you meditate on God's word, when you listen to God's word, especially the gospel of grace, that is the washing, the sanctification of the water of the word. Where, where our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can present the believer as a glorious church without spot, wrinkle, because of, of the washing of of the uh, of the water of the word of the gospel of grace and so watch it jesus says he that is washed and that's speaking about eternally saved needeth not save to sanctify his feet but is clean ever wet you because you're washed eternally saved and ye are clean, a believer of our Lord and Savior, and soon to come again, Jesus Christ. But just having your feet washed, having your feet sanctified. And this but not all, that's referring to uh, 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 Judas of Iscariot. If we turn to Revelations, <laughs> Lord. 
If we turn to Revelations ch and verse 1, and chap verse 1, Revelation chapter 1, verse 13, it says how, And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, girt about the paps with a gird, golden girdle. And this golden girdle that it's talking about, it, 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 it's the it, it, it's it's the towel that the resurrected our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ seated at the right hand of the Father it, 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 it is washing is sanctifying and cleansing by the washing the water of the Word a believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when a, a believer of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ reads God's Word. When, when they study God's word, when they memorize God's word, meditate on God's word, listening to the gospel of grace. That's the washing, the sanctification, the cleansing by the water of the word of the gospel of grace. And it's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the resurrected our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who, 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 who who, who the, son, the son of man clothed with a garment down to the foot and girt about with paps with a golden girdle washing the believer's feet. And if we look at uh, 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 Ephesians chapter 6, <laughs> praise the Lord! And the apostle Paul says in verse 15, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 15, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. When, 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 when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ washes, sanctifies, cleanses our feet, and shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And then if we look at Romans chapter 10, <laughs> praise the Lord, we see the apostle Paul quoting an Old Testament gospel grace preacher, Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7, and he says in Romans chapter 10, verse 15, and how shall they preach the gospel of grace except they be sent as it is written? How beautiful are the sanctified, cleansed, washing of the water of the word of God's feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, the gospel of grace, and bring glad tidings of good things. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his God's you. May the Lord give you speech. And I commend you all to God that the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and after to those who sanctify in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And out to him that is able, keep you wrong and present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now forevermore. Praise the Lord. God bless the God they love.